Welcome back to Nest Studios. I'm your host, Bird Tendo. Today we got a lot of mixed variety of some action figures to open up. First, we're going to start off with the Super Mario series because of the recent announcement of the Wave 5 DLC. And I will save this as Crispy gets in my way on the camera, of course. Um, the Wave 5 DLC pretty much focuses on the music. Uh, Baby Mario here has some articulation on the head, on his arms, and also on his feet. They can swivel. Crispy always loves to get in my way. So, um, I kind of went a little bit too far when it came to this angle, so... I tried to make the most of it here. I was incredibly ill. I got this cute little Mario figure here because it kind of reminded me of the Paco series and... Well, I needed a small Mario in my, uh, collection. And just like the Popco figure, I believe, Mario has some arm articulation and some head articulation as well, too. <clears throat> Next up is Bone Piranha Plant, with a coin, of course. The Bone Piranha Plant is, is a little bit interesting for me, because the guy, he has, like, holes instead of spots and they introduced a lot of good bone related enemies in new super mario brothers 2 and of course the game was heavily focused on coins resners made a return and everything else was just incredibly amazing so there's that of course as i fumble around with the figure oh yeah i'm just trying to get it out of the packaging course <clears throat> so yeah well there he is so bone plant here he has a uh, jaw articulation his head can swivel so he can actually do some underbiting of course and he can also swivel on the pipe as well too which is pretty darn sweet I should also uh, take the time to let you guys know this. Um, I resigned from my job at Real Canadian Superstore. The place was, the environment was just becoming too much for me. And also, I'm incredibly sick. I think it's a seasonal thing. But not to worry, I'm on disability because of my autism and my ADHD. There's Biker Peach with the blue shell. So, in a way, I'm going to be okay. <clears throat> figure I pump out this nice amount of content here for you I'm also been I also have been riding my bike as an alternative to working out so there's that <clears throat> that blue shell looks amazing it's giant it's enormous I did see the Mario movie, and let me just say it's references a la mode. I don't really think any of you are ready to see this. <coughs> Biker Peach, um, something I'm not really interested in, to be honest with you. She's got, like, ball joints at her head. Uh, she's got pretty interesting articulation at the wrists and the arms and the shoulders. Her thighs can swivel, her hips can swivel. They really don't lie, but then again, man, it's a bit of a weird figure. But, you know, Illumination nailed it on the head, head when it came to those figures, so there's that. It's all pretty darn sweet, to say the least. As I get the figures out of the way, because we're going to open up some Pokemon Select series, and you know how much I love those figures... My Dragapult figure, you can see it in the background, actually. Um, I got it in a bit of a uh, bit of a sitting position with its feet pointed up, and it's a bit sassy, so it's got a he it's, it's a hand on its chin. A little chinny chin chin. Here's a brand new Charizard figure that I picked up. Even though I already have the uh, Smash Bros. Char I mean, the... Uh, the uh, special finish Charizard, it honestly for me doesn't have that much of articulation. It goes absolutely nowhere. <clears throat> but this Zard is, um, well, I wouldn't say my favorite because, you know, Zard is incredibly overrated and just 
you know, he's four times a week to rock. I eat him for breakfast. So there's that. Comes with a little stand, but honestly, um, I don't really think I need the stand for Charizard. Um, he's been... He can stand pretty well just fine, and um, the news is that there's also going to be some other new figures coming soon to the Select Series. Um, Suicune, Tyranitar, and Mewtwo. Suicune will be nice, uh, Titar will be nice, um, though I have three Mewtwo's already. I mean, it's, it'll still be pretty nice to add to the collection, at least. So there's that. As I uh, get Charizard in a nice little position here. I really shouldn't be talking much, as I am uh, pretty ill. I am taking NyQuil, I'm sucking halls, and I'm making... And I'm also uh, taking Vapor Rub as well, too. So, um, as I, I hope I can bring this figure up with what I have. <clears throat> you know, I work so slowly. Like, if I work way too fast when I'm sick, I sweat even more. And honestly, it's just not that good for me. So there's that. Especially when I'm ill. But, you know, when I'm feeling fine, like I'm, to like I'm on top of the world, it's like, yeah, man, I'm good to go. So... I got Charizard in this uh, position where he's like actually using his fire tail to attack. He's got good jaw articulation, his head can move around, so can his neck, which is pretty nice. His wings are on hinges, they move around. His arms, which can finally pose, so you can push that other Charizard aside. Him and his firing projectiles. He makes Arcanine look like a Dollarama toy. And I haven't picked up Arcanine yet. He's got a giant, long tail. His uh, thighs can move as well, too. He has knee joints and ankle joints. This is probably the most dynamic Charizard figure I picked up. My favorite, but then again, he's still not my favorite Pokemon. Of course, I prefer Rayquaza, that long green noodle you see in the background doing lord knows what <clears throat> so there's that I'm still fumbling around I just mainly have been fooling around a little bit haven't been paying much attention because you know when you're sick your mind uh, can fool around with you quite a lot so there we'll put Charizard right there put some packaging aside oh man as I uh, also get him in a new position because I cannot make up my mind for the life of me. <laughs> Lord. I think in this one, in this recording, I got him in that uh, classic red, blue, and yellow pose, I believe. It was that like original artwork with his arms outstretched and his neck pointed up and his head turned to the side. But I then got him in his red and blue sprite pose, like I did with Articuno, so there's that. <clears throat> I think either, oh yeah, I had the camera perched on my, uh, on my cat's, uh, tree there. There's Crispy again, doing Lord knows what. At the time, I was actually getting my, uh, trying to get my room cleaned up. Mainly the floors and everything else in between. Here's Samurott to quench the fire. To, well, put out the fire, not quench its thirst, but you know what I mean. I will say this, uh, I think not a lot of people like Samurott when he was first revealed, but I actually like it. I like Samurott. He's got, um... He's got a pretty sweet design, and his new Hisuian form is... Oh, man, I've actually used it in some raid battles, and let me tell you, man, he cuts. I mean, he really cuts. And I don't mean the TM for cut. I mean... Frickin' Fire Emblem Tippers from Smash Bros. That's what I'm talking about. <clears throat> 
Apparently his stand is a little bit weird. It's unlike any other. It's incredibly short. And I forgot to put this in the video, but he uh, comes with two small little, smaller dagger-like scimitars, which are his uh, Skeltrop-like shells. There's the longer one, and he has uh, two smaller ones that he came with. I thought he just only came with one, but I guess that's uh, pretty darn creative. Which I will give, but the final figure is probably my favorite, and we'll have a look at him later. It's Typlosion. You know, with Typlosion and uh, Typlosion and Samurai, they have their own forms, so that's pretty darn sweet. So here's Samurai, and those are the small little daggers that I was talking about. Uh, the other one fell out, but that's okay. They don't stay on him, that is, when you're moving him around, but he's got some pretty good um, joints. They're a little bit uh, complex, especially around the limbs. What I do like is his um, head and neck articulation. That shell is pretty sharp. You can make him throw tackles with mega horn and everything else. His tail is on a hinge can't really pull off any good aqua tail moves as his uh, lower body is also on a hinge kind of get him in a bit of a swimming position uh, the position I did get him in was um, him admiring his uh, longer uh, scimitar while his other two are tucked in kind of like forged in f like a like a TV show of forged in fire I've been watching a little bit of that um, it's mainly about um, these contestants that are blacksmiths and they uh, construct weapons from medieval times and from video games as well too. There's catastrophic failures here and there, and it's all, pr but it's all good. So yeah, he can hold it just fine, make good cuts, but don't make him do too much. Otherwise, you know that that thing's gonna pop off. You just really got to get the peg in the hole, and then he's. Um, pretty much good to go so there's that I mean he could stand pretty well but when I got him in him uh, in that pose where he's holding the scimitar I just had to use that stand so there's that <clears throat> man I just I'm just fooling around fooling around I'm a bit of a perfectionist myself. See, you can't even fit in there because, you know, that's going to be pretty awkward. And what I wish they've done is uh, made his joints where he can actually uh, reach into one of his uh, one of his arms and actually pull out, pull out one of the uh, swords, which is pretty darn cool. But overall, um, despite the complex articulation and the long sword... Uh, Samurott, for me, is still pretty darn sweet. I got a buddy on DeviantArt who uh, ships both Samurott and Primarina. I made a bit of an art piece for him a long time ago. Again, that was when I was using polygons. I just used the natural pencil stuff. Of course, um, uh, pardon moi, I, I was still doing um, digital. I'm still doing digital. It's only ever a rare occasion that I actually go for a traditional, so there's that. Well, Samrot's gonna hang out around there, and as we get our final figure out for today, that's Typlosion. Typlosion's pretty darn sweet. I used to spam eruption with him because apparently Heatran can't learn eruption, but he can, but it's only through in an event in Pokemon Ranger for Nintendo DS, so. <clears throat> but as we get Typlosion out, you'll pretty much see why he is actually my favorite. And it's not because of that weird neck that he has. Of course not. We'll eventually, uh, we'll eventually get into it. That is, if I, if I probably hustle it up a little bit. Man, oh man. My mom would usually tell me not to go so hard on myself, but, you know, a lot of people tell me it's alright. 
That is uh, when I'm uh, going hard on myself. They they back me up. So Typlosion, I know you're thinking, where in the heck are his flames? He's got good articulation on his arms. His wrists can swivel. He's got an elbow joints. The neck is a little bit weird. Makes him a bit pudgy. I mean, I don't really think it's got good articulation for itself, but his mouth can open up at least. That's pretty cool. That's something they should do for other uh, mons, like, you know, the Rayquaza figure. Make their mouths open. His uh, little legs can, can move and his uh, feet can move too. His toes are on hinges. And something that's really nice. Oh, there's some waist swivel, of course, mm -hmm. so that's all good. Something really cool about Typlosion is... So, you know that little flame collar that he had as I'm about to get him in that position here. So that flame collar, it actually detaches. So you can actually attach it on there, give him that old uh, sprite look. And if you want to detach him, give him that good old Gen 6 look. That's what I got to... That's what I got to give to uh, Nintendo... To uh, Tomy or whoever made those like that is incredibly clever he might be one of my uh, favorite figures right there too i actually adore him oh man that is just incredibly clever i got him in this position where he's like kind of throwing his uh throwing his body body weight he's like about to body slam the opponent flip flip fire main first that's what I did right there as I uh, continue to fiddle around. While I still fiddle around here, uh... <clears throat> oh man, I guess that's pretty much all I gotta talk about. I mean, I'm just been. The rest of the video is just me fooling around with my stuff. I just can't be fooling around, you know? But then again, you know, I just can't, I just cannot waste time when it comes to these videos. I've just been so darn ill. I uh, tell you what, um, I'll leave you guys off on here early. Um, like, comment, and subscribe. This has been, um, this has been a Studios production. Wait, no. Like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Bertendo. Um, keep it unreal.